Alright, let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. You get fucked up on Jin, and then you build a gazebo. You get fucked up on Jin, and you win the heavyweight title. You get fucked up on Jin, you beat a kaiju. The answer to anything is getting fucked up on Jin and then doing the action. Uh, okay. Ah, I see. I'm you know, so this is ir irrefutable logic. It's hard to argue with this assessment. So, number one rule to anything get fucked up on Jin and then get do fucked the up thing. on Jin. Fucking, if I had a super phone, oh. that's what they call it irrefutable logic. Irrefutable logic. I'm hilarious. What do you mean, fun I'm over? Peeking. I'm peeking in the walls. Laugh at me. Yes. My I have achieved comedy. <laughs> I have achieved <laughs> Yeah, I, I feel like it, I feel like if I ever had to go. Oh up come on! I feel like uh, I could push it like the lava. If I ever had to Fucking go up hell. against something like Twink, my main strategy would be using magic to a make it smaller than me, b make myself bigger than it. <laughs> Are you guys like planning out a this is campaign? my fetish? I am this is my fetish. I, this, I am planning out a way to fight Twink, and the and the method is get fucked up on Jin and. <laughs> All you need to do, all you need to do, dearie, is just do what I did. Master the power of your fetishes, and you will be untouchable. Yeah. Joke's on you, that's giving me a boner. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagined somebody like, okay. you wanna fuck with Aeon? Okay, like, so, okay, so I'm coming back and I'm presuming you guys are talking about how you're gonna take on- Oh, fucking hell, same goddamn spot! We're talking, we're talking about, it's like- Okay, so some of us are talking about how we deal with Twink. Trent is talking about getting fucked up and fighting Twink. Um, yeah. I mean, to be fair, if you're too drunk to happen. notice that your arm has been ripped off, that's a pretty valuable asset to have. So, Lightning you know. Blue, so I'm still waiting for a Firebrand versus Solar Flare. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes! Did, oh. I call- I, I, I go bets on Solar. I remember the first time I yeah. interacted with Solar was he was talking about, he was talking about, like, <laughs> Josh Scorcher, he was like, Josh Scorcher called me a boot, and, so and Solar went, what the fuck did you call me? <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's, the, that's my earliest memory of Solar Flare. That is my earliest uh, so <laughs> Solar, both of you need to go Super Saiyan Texan, and then you have to point out, California boy, you know you can't do it as well as I can. He's diet Texan. He technically wasn't born in Texas for five No, if you want to adopt in Texas, I was born in it. Molded by it. I'm, I'm born in the dark. Lone Star Fury. I've been chewing on tobacco ever since I was a boy. You were molded by it. All we gotta do is dip coal and mine's gold, baby. That's all we do around here, boy. <laughs> I got that? these fucking brats in the deep trees. I'm gonna break them out. God damn it! <laughs> also, speaking of hypothetical fight scenarios, I'm looking back at that one tweet that Wolf had made with the artwork that made yeah, no, it, which looks it. amazing, by the way. And fucking, I'm looking in all the responses to that tweet, and I was like, "Yep, this is exactly what I thought was gonna happen." Whoa, what happened? <laughs> Why we, we had this conversation? Everyone, we, we, everyone, we, have, everyone having a fucking day next week. Everybody has had win. a fucking... Yeah, no. Congratulations. We've divided uh, our fan base and forced them to pick a side. I hope you're happy. I did find it funny that there was a time I, uh, we, we were mentioned on the panel and said, what if there was a Bernalysis fighting game? And they listed off certain people. And when they got to me, everyone on the panel was like, um, I don't think we can let Aeon be a playable character. <laughs> It's a bit of a balance issue. Congratulations. Uh, you've been- Yeah, no, you've, you've essentially become fucking Hulk in Civil War. Uh, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to think of a setup for getting Firebrand Solar to fight again, and, and I think I can only come up with maybe this one scenario. Um, maybe uh, you're seeing who's more Texan? No. <laughs> That's... It's not an intentional setup, because Bliss wouldn't do that to them. I mean, it's not in my character sure? to make my friends fight. But <laughs> no, but I can imagine like, okay, I can imagine, uh, I can imagine Firebrand shows up to teach Bliss another magic lesson, but Bliss forgot to put it into her schedule and she overworked herself that day, so Solar Flare's not having it. No magic lesson. <laughs> so Firebrand gets pissy with it. <laughs> Fucking just. I can imagine Firebrand. He's like, "What? Are you gonna tell? Are you gonna let Solar tell you what to do?" And I'm like, ah, "Well, he's like, it's my job, bitch." <laughs> I'd be slob squatting in the background, just taking fucking bets. 
and watch you two do good out. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you look around the fucking arena, I took the liberty to put out a couple of broken bottles, some rebar, and a motherfucking <laughs> I love <laughs> hearing this man speak. Fucking rebar. <laughs> We're gonna be out here in the cut. Craig, I've known you oh. for a day, but I already love everything you say and the way you say it. Okay, so like Man that, crush. That's a legitimate thing. <laughs> Back in my high school, there was this place out back behind the school called Fight Alley that was around when my mom was going to school. It had broken glass, fucking rebar, discarded knives, broken knife blades. I'm pretty sure that there was like an old like piece, like there was a, an axe head back there when I went to explore. It Whoa! And that is oh my where, god! Oh my god! Holy kids, shit! Jesus! Like, what? That is where the kid had to, go to settle for the like, Just <laughs> Stop just start doing chasing that. all this. Yeah, Stop no, doing what? All the crap that's on the battlefield. Stop and scaring just the shit out of me with this fucking game. What do you mean? It's, it's not the fucking Yoshi's Island. It's not scary. The no, fuck? you just die sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. June. Horror game premix. <laughs> if there's anybody, somebody get British Ninja on the phone. He makes video games. Come on, Look it. Sometimes this game gets a little spooky, yeah. I must admit. Fuck it, I'll get pretty. I'll tell him to make the damn game. <laughs> so, just recreate Yoshi's Island from scratch. But scary. Oh my God. The it's like a horror scary? version. <laughs> oh, it looks like we're on uh, Aeon's favorite stage. 6-6. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Hey, nice. That's pretty hey. good. And hey, when you think about it, after beating the final stage, we... Technically reach 6.9. Nice. <laughs> Golden at the uh, moment is trying funny. so hard to be the meme, I have achieved comedy and it's not working. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I do that when you can just slap on a maid's costume, big boy? Oh! oh. Now that, that is the Golden Fox meme that will never die. No, no, you see, what what would have been a real fucking power move is if you said, go fuck yourself, and you said, I will, and I'm gonna think of you when I do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use that picture that. for inspiration. Solar, you fucking god! Oh no! You fucking god! To quote that one song from Sincerely Me, I rub my nipples and stop moaning with delight. <laughs> I love that, that song. I love feel? Sincerely Me. I love that. Dude, I want to see never that fucking... It. I want to watch it, though. It, I Damn it. that one song. Oh, that was great. That was, that was <laughs> some good shit. That was some... Can we monetize that? Can we monetize that? Can we Probably that not. On Put it on a t-shirt! Do you... Yeah. Dude, oh. fucking YouTube is Put it. Put it on a shirt. Get it for baby, Golden! Yes, I know. <laughs> YouTube is just nothing but fun police now. Yeah. Oh, Can we copyright strike Golden Fox? No. no, okay, Vlad. Actually, you know what? You're gonna think that it's not too surprising. Okay, let me let me back it up this much. So, you know that I've been doing a little marathon reviewing all the Lion King movies, right? Yeah. Okay, so, a little history. When I finished the uh, first review, it immediately got a copyright claim and got blocked worldwide. Now, obviously, that's Disney, right? I filed the dispute, and much to my surprise, just out of the dispute alone, they released the claim. So I'm like, okay, cool. Same thing happened with the sequel. It was predictable at that point, so I wasn't freaking out. Disputed it, took a few days. Claim was released. Okay, cool. When, re when finishing Lion King one and a half, it took a month. They let the freaking dispute expire. Yeah, because they're a bunch of fucking dicks. It's like, wow, Disney, I thought you guys were actually getting your shit together. Not. Alright, so, uh, what I'm hearing is that I'm supposed to go to their studio and just grab a microphone and say, Yo, Disney, you's a bitch, your mama's a bitch, and your daddy's a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> Who let this man in our headquarters again? Who let this man in here? He's always You're, been here. I got the oh, that was shit. I'm ready to go. Pounding. No, I was pretending to be Disney, and Disney's just like, who the fuck oh, who right, gave right. him a microphone? You right. I already got the bottle of gin, I'm ready to go, I got some rebar in the back of my car. What the fuck? 
I don't even know anymore. <laughs> no. But I Dude, have a, I have a steel you're making me. You are making me crave gin so bad. I have not had gin in forever. Bro, I wish I could go get some gin. I ran out like. God two weeks damn. Ago. Dude, like, if I had a choice oh in the God. matter, uh, my gin of choice would probably be, uh... I like Trequery, but Bombay Sapphire is good, too. My fucking man... Aeon, are you trying... Like, are you trying to seduce me? Are you trying I mean, like... Probably. There's another one that I really like, too. I forget its name, but I recognize the bottle. It's that blacked-out bottle. It's cylindr It's a blacked-out cylindrical bottle with a small cap. Right, so, Crap, uh, what is it? Your place or mine? Wow. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Looks like we got it. Oh, Deary. Deary, if you come to- if you came to my place, I can give you more potions than just gin. Oh, God. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck! Oh. He's making you, have you ever wanted to- Have you ever wanted to meet God, son? I'll even show you that you and I are both God, too. No, I have not wanted to meet God. <laughs> when all my tabs- when all my tabs of LSD kick in and you answer the door, have you met- you said something about meeting God? Of course I know God. He's me. I am him. Hail Satan! Hail Satan. <laughs> Hail Satan. Hail Satan. Hail Hello. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. Have you heard about, about the Lord boy's locker room? Christ, me who's peeking on five tabs of acid. Of course I know him. He's me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, may I introduce you to our Lord and Savior, Aeon of Dreams? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Satan. Hey, my name is... <laughs> Hello, my name is Aeon of Dreams. I have potions. Uh, my number one potion is Skeleton Orgasm. Uh, for legal reasons, I can't go into why. No, no, it is oh, in my possession. Yeah. In my possession is the world's most powerful aphrodisiac. I'll leave it at that. Oh, nice. I've used it before. You were so close, Golden. I was hoping that you were going to fail there. Wow. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Unfortunate. It was at zero. We were this close to greatness. This close. Dude, imagine that shit happening in real life, like you just get like hurt and then go transporeal for like two seconds and you can go through enemies and walls and shit. Well, I mean, everyone would just be able to escape house fires then. Yeah. yeah. There would be no point in, oh, no! you know, oh. fire fires. It's like, just take a little shit, bit. Shit, like, Actually, now I think about it, wouldn't that just negate any real damage? Because it's always the first bit now you take that puts you in the invincibility frame. We have, like, you, we have you outnumbered 40 to 1. Me, nix myself to get in vulnerability frames. <laughs> goes, tra goes transporeal for a couple of seconds, and now I'm about to wall glitch these motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, oh no, could you imagine if glitches and clipping could happen in real life? You just get embedded in a wall. Oh, that'd be or terrifying. I know this map better than you do, motherfucker. Oh, that's a that's a disadvantage. No, no, no. What if you fell into an empty void below the map? Mm. Yeah. What? What if? Yeah, that, no. That, you know what happens? You go into the back rooms. That's what happens. <laughs> you find the depth room, and then you can get the most powerful gear. That's not a detriment. <laughs> that's an advantage. Wait. No, you, that's you why everyone was. That's what happens. Wait. I, I think shit. I know what you mean by the back rooms. <sighs> Yeah, no, it's a fucking- it, it's what happens when you fall through reality. Everything's just really yellow and you can hear really dull electric lights buzzing constantly. Yeah, I, friggin', I want someone playing a horror game about those. Yeah, so, no. Hey, uh, yo, Terrifying Golden. concept. Golden, play Fallout 76 and have your fucking loot nixed by a goddamn NPC. <laughs> That's happening Golden. now. That, now that they put NPCs into Fallout 76, when people are killed, the NPCs will sometimes steal loot from them, and then the people can't get their shit back. Wow. Wow. It is the gift that keeps on giving! I don't <laughs> see how they can possibly fuck it up, and then every month they come back with some other dumb shit that's even worse. I'm still... I'm still angry at the existence. Of you have to pay $100 a month to have private servers, but guess what? They're not actually private. It's the gift. <laughs> That keeps on giving. This is exactly what I hoped for. I, I swear, like, I, I swear it's almost like Bethesda is doing this on purpose. Like, they're just trying to, like, alright, how fast does it take to just completely demolish our fucking reputation? Just... There we go. Throw that they've credibility got, down the toilet. They've like, got the one more. Shitter. They've got one more. <laughs> 
They've got one more intellectual property that they have yet to fuck up. Oh. Hang on. Which one? Doom. Yeah, that's it. That is it. That's because, they're, that's because they're the publishers and not the developers. It's like, I was terrified because <laughs> fucking, you know, they also did the publishing thing for Wolfenstein and that whole Wolfenstein New Blood thing happened. And I thought, is everything that has Bethesda somewhere on it just gonna go to shit? So yeah, when I figured yeah, out that, oh shit, Bethesda has a hand in Doom Eternal, I was like, this is, they're going to kill Doom and I'm going to want to kill myself. Okay. Just remember I... three little words. It just works. It just works. I want. Yes. I, I want to hurt. I want to hurt things. You so, make me want to hurt things. I want to inflict physical pain upon others. I will. I will end something. Something's life ends with me. It ends with me. I am the end. I want to make sure somebody is sad, and I, I... want to know that I'm responsible. <laughs> that... Is that, a, is that an actual quote? That sounds like it would be an actual quote from a movie. Yeah, that's a, that's a quote from, like, Patton Oswalt, one of my favorite comedians. I love that. <laughs> I, want, I want someone to be on Something tells me, like, um, what's it called? Stranger Than Fan Fiction? What happened, Gold? I said something tells me, like, Stranger Than Fan Fiction, then. Oh, God, no. Wait, what? Isn't that the one where there's a docu mockery of uh, Daring Do? Isn't yeah. that the one where fucking you have that quibble guy who's basically Yeah, he was voiced by uh Patton Oswald. Yeah, Patton Oswald. Isn't that the one with the ah. Makara of fucking Daring yeah, yeah. Bondage, yeah. Bondage Daring Do? Yeah. Alright, just checking. Why did I like this show again? Because <laughs> <laughs> they're a masochist. I don't even know what fucking is. is. Like, also, I'm is it sure you know. or is Quibble just some random character with the palette colors of Daring Do? Which confused the fuck out of me. Yes. Is it also now, me, or did they try to ship him with Rainbow Dash? Yes. That was was that them or us? us? That was us. We Gene Nickel, thank you for the donation. The hubris of humanity is what caused that. <laughs> and yet it didn't because happen, I, as hey. we saw in the final season. I, re no, I remember. In the final season, Rainbow Dash got Karen cut, and that pisses me off. Karen oh. cut? What does that mean? Did you I ever see the Karen haircut? Like... Oh, I knew okay. it was something to do with her. Yeah. You know also, what? After people... what? A... You know what? Also... After her performance in Two Four Six, great, she deserved to be Karen cut. Um, <laughs> that's also... fair. But can we all just acknowledge that Pinky fucks? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she got My the weird dick. Man, Pinky that's does. Weird Al himself confirmed it on fucking Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pinky weird Al's like, hey, I stole one of your waifus, like officially. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Never gonna Big Mac that. fucks. Big Mac also fucks. Mm -hmm. like, I mean, yeah, yeah, to be fuck. fair, it's it's He's usually Big Mac. the quiet ones that fuck the hardest. That's what God. I've heard. Yes. God, he's so got King, he's got so the King mannerisms. The exception. <laughs> God, he's got the mannerisms of a quiet mouse, and he fucks like a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> I am I, I mean, with the whole finale thing. I couldn't be happier with how it ended up. Mm -hmm. Alright, yeah, that was a great ending. Mm -hmm. No cap. Why the fuck was why? When did Spike turn into an absolute unit? When did he go from being the first <laughs> dude Spike has to been lifting? My dude has been lifting. He been he in went, the gym. It, like, oh. you can take- you can take the two different versions of Spike and put them into the Chad virgin meme. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful who you call ugly in middle school. Also, did you guys see that thing where people were trying to say that Spike and Gabby had a kid, and they were trying to use this hippogriff who had Spike's color scheme, kind of, to say, oh, friggin' Spike and Gabby had a kid.